Hi, if you click this video, you're most likely trying to get started in IT and found the CompTIA A plus certification and want advice on kind of where to start. My name is Abdu. I am a cybersecurity professional. I've worked in IT for more than six years. I currently have my CompTIA A plus, Network plus, Security plus, as well as my Pentest plus and CISSP. I took my CompTIA A plus certification uh, right before my first job in IT, so that was about two or three years ago, uh, and I wanted to give some advice on how I passed in just a month. First off, I wanted to acknowledge that even though I did pass this certification in just a month, I did dedicate like at least three to four hours a day uh, to studying the certification, uh, and my experience before that was just kind of uh, I was a teenager knew how to use a computer knew how to do basic troubleshooting steps and that's basically it so first I wanted to talk a little bit about what the actual CompTIA certification is it is the industry standard for anybody that wants to get into IT so if you're looking for a job in uh, just as a help desk analyst or a business analyst in IT um, this is definitely the certification for you that is very like widely known uh, around the industry right now. So this is the site for CompTIA. Um, honestly, there are like courses you can take. You're gonna find a bunch of uh, places where you can pay for um, an instructor and that might work for some people, but I'm gonna give you my advice on how to do it completely free other than obviously paying for the voucher and mostly just using resources just online that are free. I did also just want to recommend if this is your first ever IT certification, I highly, highly recommend you get the uh, basic bundle where you get a retake. This is because if it is your first certification, uh, you might not really have a rhythm yet on trying to study on your own and getting certifications. This is just like precautionary measure to consider. So yeah, a bit about the certification. Uh, it is industry standard, very sought out for. It has two exams uh, that can be both taken online. If you do take it online, it is a bit strict in the sense that there's gonna be instructor watching you. You can't have anything on your desk. You can't even have two monitors. Um, and if you make any noises or if, if you have family in the background, it is, very, it is likely that uh, your exam might be uh, forfeited. Not to scare you guys off or anything, but uh, I would just keep that in mind. So the first thing I used when I was studying for the A plus certification is the exam objectives. These are going to be your Bible basically when studying for the certification. Uh, there's obviously two exams called core one and core two. And basically these objectives just give you a detailed um, understanding of what is going to be on the exam. So it's giving you like topics. A lot of these are really simple, battery, keyboard, like RAM, what is RAM, all that. I would go through these multiple times. Make sure you know every single thing on this exam objectives. Uh, I'll leave a link to both of these in the description, but this is for uh, core two. Again, it gives you everything you need to know, some basic command line tools that you need to know. But yeah, I would go through all of this and make sure you at least have a general idea of what each and every single topic is going to be. Some you might want to focus more than others, but you do need to have a general idea or a general understanding of each of these uh, topics mentioned. So the next resource I used is uh, Professor Messer's YouTube channel. And honestly, this guy has helped me get all my certifications, including my A+, Network+, and Security+. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you go out and check his videos out. Um, he basically has, as you can see here, a playlist of each and every topic. Uh, he goes through basic stuff, basic tips on how to pass the exam, but he also goes through, as you can see, each and every topic um, on what to learn. He has great slideshows. He also has some good uh, exam uh, questions and he has a book like a study guide on what to learn honestly uh, that depends on you but if you want to kind of get through this as quick as you can I would just go through this what I did personally is I watched each and every single video without taking any notes just so I can get a general idea of uh, what I need to focus on and what I already knew um, and then I went through again writing down each and every single uh, thing that I didn't know so I can memorize 
the next thing I did after I reviewed the uh, exam objectives on the CompTIA site, I went through Professor Messer's videos. I next took as many practice questions as I could. Since this is like a really popular certification, it I would not recommend you pay for any like exam tests or anything like that. There's so many great free, like uh, even CompTIA seems to have like a free practice test. Uh, but on Reddit especially, there are great test questions that really do uh, help you out. Another important thing to keep in mind is that CompTIA has multiple versions of uh, the certification. It gets renewed. So I would just make sure you are studying for the correct one. Again, this number right here, 2201101, it, that's the latest version of that certification that is most likely gonna be uh, the most useful to you. But other than that, I would uh, set a deadline. Again, it's all about dedication. Uh, I studied for two, three, four hours a day sometimes. And and again, after the first two weeks, I was able to take my first core exam. And the second, after the second two weeks, I was able to take the other one. But yeah, I, I wish you guys the best of luck. Uh, trust me, as long as you dedicate yourself, it is an easy cert to get. It's very uh, entry level. Uh, and it is very, very sought out for, so you could easily find a uh, entry level help desk job or just desktop support job um, once you pass the certification. If you guys have any questions or anything, make sure to leave them down in the comments below and subscribe because I do plan on making videos on how I pass my Network Plus certification, which is uh, more geared towards like network engineering and being becoming a network technician. Uh, great add-on to this A plus certification, uh, as well as the Security Plus certification, which again really good for entry level cybersecurity jobs. Um, I may even consider uh, making a video on the CISSP, which is the gold standard right now for security jobs. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.